Hey superstars, today we're going to talk about how to funnel clients into your coaching program. Finally, let's talk about how do you funnel clients into your coaching program? Because um, I know you've heard so many people talk about funnel this, sales funnel, marketing funnel, income funnel, book funnels, all kinds of stuff. They always talk about funnels, funnels, funnels. And funnels are really important, guys. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of them. They're really important if you are absolutely uh, want to uh, build passive income into your coaching and consulting business. Funnels have to be set up. These are things that happen automatically behind the scenes that will start to bring in clients into your business. So let's talk a little bit about, there are three like levels of the funnels, okay? Three levels, okay? So the first level is going to be the funnel opening, right? It's the, the, the top of the funnel before people start to, you know, go down to the next level. And the top of the funnel or the opening of the funnel is going to be like your freebie stuff blog posts, videos like these, or your Facebook lives. There are, again, these are the, these are the content mediums that you will use so people can start to notice you. It's like brand awareness, basically, okay? So that top of the funnel is where you want people to enter in to the funnel before they start to make a decision to buy from you. And so we want to put our content that is going to address and answer some of their problems that they're having. And if you haven't, like, if you don't follow me on my Facebook lives, you know, you should. But I talk about this a lot about why you want to be producing content all the time. And how do you produce content that people actually want to read. And basically you are going to create content that people are asking for, are asking questions for. They are putting questions in groups and you are just pr producing content to answer that question, okay? So top of the funnel is going to be your free stuff. Your blog posts, your videos, your Facebook lives, your social media posts, those type of things are going to be your, um, your top of the funnel. The second thing is that it's when you start to offer some low or easy risk offers. And what do I mean by this? First, let's talk about the low offers. The low offers are going to be your very inexpensive offer, like easy to say yes to, something that's like $7, right? Um, in the marketing world, we call it the trip wire. But that $7 offer is going to even give them a little bit more detail about that problem that they are trying to solve. And so you're going to say, hey, you know, you just read my free blog post or you just read my blog post that I could get you the seven you know seven ways to overcome stress or whatever the topic is well here is a 30 minute meditation video or meditation audio that you can listen to to immediately reduce the stress in your body and it's only seven dollars so that would be the low product offer that they will take advantage of and just to let you know once a buyer buys from you, they will always buy from you. So that is really the initial like test to see if one of their buyer and then they're testing you to see if your content is good. Part of that low or no risk offer is the no risk part of it. And the next thing that you could offer someone who comes to the top of your funnel could be a webinar or a workshop, a free webinar or workshop. And basically, they're not paying to attend that webinar or workshop, but they are paying with their time. And so their time is really important too, because typically webinars, workshops are about, uh, can run about 60 minutes to 90 minutes. And so you are asking for them to give their time to you, which is a, is a really uh, a big commitment. And once someone does that, once they either buy your low dollar offer, your $7 offer, or they attend one of your webinars, it is now the next level of your funnel is to offer a mid price product or in the marketing world, they call it the core offer. 
Now, this is where your, your, your bread and butter comes from. Because typically what you're doing is you either are running ads to the free offer, right? And typically you want your tripwire to pay for the ads. I hope that makes sense. And then your core offer is where your bread and butter comes from. Because basically you didn't have to run ads. You really have a qualified the people who've come through your funnel because they've already bought from you. They either attended a webinar from you and they are really interested in what you have to offer. So once they come to your core offer, which should be your coaching program, this is where they make the decision. Yes, I like what she has to offer. I like the content and I want my problem solved completely, right? I want to get these results that I know that I can achieve because she's helped me get these quick wins in the beginning, okay? So that is the, the midpoint off. So we right now, we ran them through a funnel. We ran them through the opening of the funnel, which is either a blog post, something free. Then we ran them through the next level, which is called the low dollar offer or tripwire, which is either $7 offer or a webinar that they have to attend for like an hour, 90 minutes kind of thing. Then you make your core offer um, to them. You're going to sell your coaching program. That will be your mid price offer. Now the next level to the funnel, consider it's the profit maximizer. And this is when someone has gone through your coaching program and now they're ready to take the next level. That could be a VIP day with you. That could be a retreat. That could be a live event. That could be, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching with you. So there are a lot of options in between there that people can still continue to buy. And just to give you a heads up, as people move through your funnel, you should be always be offering them something. And I know that's, that's easier said than done because that requires you to do a lot of planning. But as you start to build your funnel, especially at the three levels that I just mentioned, which is the, the opening, which is the free offer, the tripwire, and the core offer, then as you have built this out, and this is working pretty smoothly for you, go ahead and start adding the other things, the profit maximizer or the next thing. If someone buys your profit maximizer, what's the next thing they could buy? Or do they enroll into your membership? And et cetera, and et cetera. Um, so don't, don't let this overwhelm you. Just take it step by step and follow the steps that I just mentioned. Just the first three, opening, tripwire, core offer. All right. So if you are planning your next coaching program, then I've got a freebie for you. I want you to go to alicemichelle.com forward slash CP planner to download your coaching uh, program planner. It's free. It's about six, seven pages planner, which is a really good uh, planner to help you really map out what your uh, coaching program is going to be because again, that's your core offer. Uh, all right, guys. So if you have not already subscribed to this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're listening to me on the podcast, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. All right, guys, you have an awesome and blessed day. Talk to you later. Peace out.